Hi folks, this is Max from Nexus4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 4 on a Windows computer. I also have a guide for Linux and Mac soon. Uh, first, go ahead and uh, go ahead and go to uh, settings, and uh, go ahead and go to uh, if you don't see developer options, go to about phone, and go down to the bottom, and just keep hitting build number until it says you're one step away from a developer. You are a developer. Go hit back button. Now you'll see developer options. Go ahead and hit developer options, and uh, make sure it's on. And also make sure you that USB debugging is checked on like that, and then connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. All right. Next, what you want to do is uh, make sure you have drivers installed. Um, the way to check it is go to start, um, go to control panel here, and uh, go to hardware and sound and go to device manager. I'm using Windows 7 uh, 64 bits. Um, you can use any of the windows and uh, you'll see Nexus 4 here uh, with the exclamation mark. If you see already see ADB, uh, that might be because you might be uh, you have used other Samsung devices or whatever or other Google Android devices then you're all good to go. You don't have to worry about it but if you see this go ahead and update drivers and also go ahead and download uh, Nexus 4 root.zip. If you unzip you'll have all the files you need uh, to roots and uh, so go ahead and <coughs> I'll take driver here um, and throw <coughs> my computer for driver software sorry and uh, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer show all devices um, choose have disk and go ahead and browse to the directory nexus 4 root.zip I have it uh, in uh, in my downloads directory Nexus 4 root and you, under USB driver folder you'll find Android Win USB dot M. This should work for all the 32-bit and 64-bit uh, windows. So go ahead and do that and you'll have a bunch of options. You can just choose Android ADB interface and click next. All right, And this will install the drivers and go ahead and install it. Um, and uh, that's pretty much how to install drivers once you have the drivers installed everything else is pretty easy and uh, let's go ahead and root it alright so let's give it a second here we're almost done uh, and boom shakalaka come on alright 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 we got uh, Android ADB interface um, you're all good to go you can close all this up uh, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next step Next, go ahead and uh, hit start and hit uh, under search bar, hit type CMD uh, and hit enter. And you get a nice little uh, command prompt here. And uh, let's go ahead and browse to the directory. Um, it's in Nexus 4. So type CD space downloads, enter, and you'll get into downloads directory like above and go CD Nexus, whoops, CD Nexus. Nexus 4 root, like that, hit enter. Now you'll be in the Nexus 4 root directory. Next, go ahead and type uh, adb space backup space minus apk uh, space minus all space minus f and uh, whatever backup you want to name. Uh, I'll just say uh, my, or just say backup.ab like that. Uh, this will back up all of your settings, apps, not the contents of your uh, internal storage and hit enter button. Next go back into your phone and you should get a, uh, a pop-up like this. Um, go ahead and hit back up my data and this will start backing up your stuff. Next we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, put your phone into fast boot mode. Um, so go ahead and turn your phone off. Alright. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, hold down. Alright when it's powered off we're going to go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button. All right. And you should feel a little vibration there and uh go ahead and uh connect it to your back to your computer. All right. And it should say fast boot mode there as you can see. And let's go back to our computer. All right. Now you might have to install the drivers again. Um, if you don't have to, go back and open up uh, Device Manager. Make sure you have some kind of ADB interface in there instead of this uh, exclamation with Android. But 
if you get this go ahead and install that same drivers you did earlier in the beginning of the video um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it I show all devices have disk and I'm gonna point to the same uh, Android USB dot inf like we did in the beginning of the video and choose Android ADB interface again and uh, this is basically the fast boot drivers um, sometimes you have to install it twice and you'll now see an Android ADB interface um, so that's good you can close that up and uh, let's go back to the command prompt now next we're gonna type uh, fast boot space space OEM space uh, unlock this will unlock the bootloader and now this will erase everything on your phone your settings your apps your internal storage so if you didn't do that go ahead and start over and uh, make a backup of your internal storage and also um, you know like I showing you how to back up the apps and settings alright and we're gonna hit the enter button and you'll immediately get uh, this thing unlock bootloader go ahead and say yes and hit the power button alright and it'll say lock state uh, unlock there let me let me zoom in there for you right there alright and we're we're pretty much good to go uh, let's actually go ahead and start it alright and I'll be back when this is done booting alright you'll probably get the uh, beginning setup here I'm gonna go ahead and skip everything here um, now it's wiped your whole phone when you unlock the bootloader but you do have an unlock bootloader meaning now you can install custom recoveries uh, custom ROMs all that good stuff you want it in a rooted phone you only have to do it once and uh, you know you can always relock it to void unvoid the warranty and uh, that's very easy to do so when is this is done um, you've logged in go ahead and connect it back to your computer and we're gonna copy uh, one file over alright next we're gonna go to the Nexus 4 root folder and go ahead and do right click on CWM blah blah 99 zip um, that file right there you might not see the dot zip unless you have the extensions enabled and go ahead and go to your Nexus 4 uh, internal storage paste it anywhere there this is the actual rooting uh, files that you'll need um, by Chainfire and uh, he's a very good developer by the way and uh, once you've got it copied over let's go back to our phone next you're gonna go ahead and put it back into the uh, bootloader menu uh, power off your phone and uh, volume down and the power button and that will get you back into the bootloader mode, the fast boot mode. Uh, we're going to go ahead and flash a recovery. So go ahead and hold down volume down and the power. All right, and you'll get to this bootloader menu. This is called a bootloader menu. Go ahead and plug in your USB cable again, and let's go to our computer again. Next, we're going to go ahead and type. Uh, we're going to go ahead and type uh, fast boot space flash space recovery space uh, recovery and just type recovery and hit the tab button on your keyboard the tab button here the tab button uh, and it will fill it in for you what you're supposed to type is the file name here but it's kinda long so just type at the end there's that's recovery space recovery a lot of people forget that and they just do fast boot flash recovery blah make sure you have fast boot space flash space recovery space and then the recovery file name so this will flash the um, the Nexus for uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery and hit enter. Alright, and you should get that. And let's go back to our phone, it's been flashed. Alright, this is the final step of rooting. Uh, so go ahead and hit volume down until you see recovery mode and hit the power button. And this will get you into the, uh, the recovery you just flashed. Alright, so now we're in the menus. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in. And uh, this is actually touch screen, so you can actually touch it. Um, go ahead and go to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card and go ahead and hit zero it's probably under zero and hit uh, uh, go find the file you copied over the CWM blah blah dot zip this is the actual rooting file and we're gonna say yes and this will pretty much root your phone and you're pretty much done go back and uh, reboot system now and uh, and also if it asks you to dis disable recovery flash um, yes you have to disable it what what happened is with the latest Android 4.2.1 and all the jelly beans um, the stock Android will overwrite your clock recovery you just flash 
Now, Clockwork Mod Recovery actually detects that, and when you say that yes, it will actually disable that feature. Now you'll have a permanent Clockwork Mod Recovery. And also, for future versions of Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can simply download ROM Manager uh, from your Play Store and get that. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, see. Now we got Super User, Super SU, and uh, there you go. Um, you got root. Let me go ahead and download uh, Rooted App real quick. All right, so I've got Titanium Backup uh, app, I, which I highly recommend you to download right away and back up all of your apps. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Uh, boom! If you get that, boom shakalaka! Congratulations, uh, hit grant. Your phone has been completely rooted. Um, you can also now install custom ROMs and all that good stuff. All right. Now, if you want to do a uh, restore of all your settings and apps, um, let's go ahead and try try that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Actually, go to settings, uh, and also you'll have to enable um, enable developer options. Now it's gone. I'm um, so go ahead and go to about phone. Just keep hitting build number a couple times until it says you're a developer. Um, now you should see developer options, and then go ahead and uh, um, hit uh, USB debugging and make sure uh, developer options is on. And then go ahead it go ahead and connect it back to your computer here. All right. Next, we're going to type uh, ADB space restore space uh, backup.ab or whatever file you named it. Um, that was my backup file name. I'm going to go hit enter. And uh, you should see on your phone um, if you want to restore. So I'm going to go ahead and restore my data. And this will start restoring all of your data. And I'll be back when this is done. Once that's done, um, you should see that all of your apps have been restored. Um, all of your settings have been kept. For example, my if I open Pandora, I don't have to log in again. Um, like Facebook and stuff, you might have to re-authenticate. But uh, for most apps, you should be able to keep all of your apps. Um, you know, and uh, for uh, if you're missing your uh, photos in gallery, um, it's probably still cached. What you need to do is copy back over all the stuff you copied uh, backed up for your internal storage copy it back into internal storage and you'll have a fully working phone didn't lose a thing uh, and uh, um, that's how you can root your Nexus 4 uh, unlock the bootloader and also keep all your settings apps and all of your photos and videos um, anyway that should work anyway thanks you guys for watching this video um, if you like this video as always don't forget to hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there and also I have a new site called nexus root.com if you want to be stay updated um, I send you email alerts whenever I upload a new ROM which is like maybe once a week um, the email list doesn't start until uh, there's enough people but go ahead and sign up at nexus root.com and uh, that's it and stay high on Android and uh, go enjoy your nexus 4 and see y'all later